peace, love, and light to everybody out there who's tuning in to the Unapologetic Nomads. I am Mickey, aka Queen Nomad, and uh, this is the Unapologetic Nomads. And I have with me today my good friend, Miss Tammy. How are you today, sis? <laughs> yes, we're on the way to an exciting new attraction here in Dubai. All these years being here, I've never been. Always said, I want to go, I want to go. So we're checking it out. You gotta stay with us to see where we are headed. Um, it's a very popular attraction and it's about, what time, 11 o'clock a.m. And it's, um, what's this, Thursday morning? Thursday yeah, morning. Thursday morning and we are gonna check this out now. to say first arriving you're just wowed by the design of this beautiful building it's one of the most beautiful structures I've ever seen and to know that it is uh, made of stainless steel and uh, manufactured by a specialized robotic process is amazing and this building covers a total surface area of 17,600 square meters so it's quite big and it's larger in the inside than it looks or appears on the outside. Upon entering the museum, we proceeded to scan our QR codes for our tickets in order to acquire our wristbands so that we could enter the queue for our first experience. So we happen to be at the Museum of the Future. Yes, the Museum of the Future. We're super excited. This is now we're out of the queue and we're headed into the first part of it to see what is going on up in here. It's pretty busy today, so a lot of people are here, a lot of people, yes. Our first fun experience was entering a simulator, which was preparing us for our blast off into space. Now, it wasn't a real blast off, but it made us feel like we were heading to outer space, and it was pretty fun um, just seeing the visuals and the sound and the feeling of what it could be like being inside a spaceship. Yourself, that everyone is fit and healthy for the journey. Not even only that, everyone looks amazing here. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 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 Th
now we leave space to head back to Earth on to chapter two of this experience. Now we're off to a section called the Heal Institute. Let's see what's happening in there. On the way there, we got a chance to see what they envisioned Dubai to look like by the year 2071. Pretty awesome. In this section, it is called the Observatory. This is where we monitor species from around the world and track the work that is being done by scientists to help and preserve nature, plants and animals everywhere. Now here's a pretty cool exhibit. This is a digital recreation of the Amazon rainforest. Now we enter into the library. Now, this really blew my mind. This is a combination of 2,400 DNA samples of species from around the world. That's plants, animals, fungi, and algae. I have to admit, we spent quite some time in this room just looking at all of the different samples. I think the colors did it for me. All the glowing, beautiful colors around this room. Now we enter the laboratory and I'm going to let our good friend here tell us more about this project. Hello, Guardians, for those who just arrived, welcome to our simulation room. So here we're running different tests and experiments to see how we can set the endangered ecosystems. In front of you there are six pods. Please scan these pods only when the, white turn, the color turns white. You'll be able to see the type of experiment that you're carrying out and please also read the specifications to help you understand better. In case you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll be more than glad to assist you. Just for your information, the type of experiments you're carrying out are for super capture carbon trees, fire resistant trees and as well as soil fire. Thank you very much and happy exploring. All right, now as you said again, these are actual experiments. This is not for fun. This is, fun. This actually is happening. actual happening, it's actually, actually happening. happening. So a team of scientists have come up together to see how they can save the endangered ecosystems so as to have and revive the ecosystems. Oh, wow, yeah. this is amazing. It's my it's first amazing. time here. <laughs> We're having a great time. Yo, this is called the what tree? This is called the super capture carbon tree. Super right. capture. Carbon, carbon tree. tree. <laughs> All right. So you can call it the Ciba tree, the one that you see Ciba in the tree. rainforest. Oh. Yeah. And you said at the bottom, what is it, what is it good for? So basically, once it captures all the carbon, okay. so that you see, it then turns it into oxygen, mm. and then sends it Whoa. down. Whoa! It's gonna go down there, cooling the atmosphere. Oh my goodness! So then other plants around it will also be able to flourish. Oh, yeah. amazing! So these are some of the experiments that are being carried out specifically in the Colombian region. So team of scientists are oh, coming wow. up together okay. to see that they can save the ecosystem. So a lot of the things we're seeing, are there actual research projects yes, taking place? Yes, actual research projects. Oh, these are actual research exactly. projects. So oh. just like you saw when you came inside, you yeah. saw the window to Dubai, so like yes. the hyper is already under construction. Oh my goodness. The building which is taller than the Burj Khalifa as well. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Exactly. So this is not just for fun. This just is, for these fun. are actual... This is actual things. Huh? You might be welcome. welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you very All much. All right. And your name again? My name is Patrick. Patrick, and it's nice to meet you, Patrick. And Patrick, where are you from? This is Patrick. I'm from Uganda, and pleasure to meet you all. All right. How long have you been working here? Well, I've been here for 
two weeks to be precise. Oh, you're welcome. Welcome to the map. Thank you you have a great time. But I've been in Dubai for eight years. Eight years. Okay, yes. good. All right. Exactly. And how's your experience been? It's amazing. You know, Dubai is ever evolving. So many different things happening. So I love it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice to meet you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for the is all mine. And as we move on, we enter the Heal Institute, where we're taking a look at the studies of plants in different ecosystems around the world. And now we enter into chapter three, which is Awaha, which means oasis. So in the oasis, we're focusing more on you. Yes, mind, body, and spirit, and things we can do from day to day to keep ourselves stress-free and at peace and grounded. Now this was really fun. It's a special kind of carpet. It makes you feel like you're walking on clouds. It's super, super soft. So in here, we participated in activities such as connection therapy, where we sat with a group and practiced our breathing. Another extraordinary exhibit was stillness therapy. just realized how much healing there is in being still. This was amazing. We almost fell asleep in this room. So after a quick rest in the stillness therapy room, we moved on to a section called Tomorrow Today, where we took a look at amazing innovations and inventions that we could possibly see in the near future. Okay, this car is amazing. This is an Audi. So, let me see. Let me get some specs on it. Oh, all road capability, all terrain. 22 inch wheels featuring movable segments. Wow. That's how it opens in the back. This car is fire.
And this interesting looking ride is called a flying taxi. That's right. Hmm. I guess you'll get to work pretty fast in the future. And if you thought that was interesting, here's a flying suit. Resistant to viruses. Now that's different. Wow. Okay. We want to give a quick shout out to Will I Am for this extraordinary innovation and invention. It's called the Zuper Mask, which is a smart mask combining face technology and integrated audio engineering. And our last stop on this tour was to visit Amaka which is a humanoid robot, just to see what she has to say. My name is Annika. I'm a humanoid robot, and I work for the Museum of the Future. Do you have any questions for me? It's overrated. I prefer to fly, but I am not to this platform. <laughs> so that concludes our tour of the Museum of the Future. The tour takes about two to three hours from beginning to end, and it's hard to get everything on video. So we suggest that if you ever visit Dubai, to grab your ticket and take a visit. It is well worth your time. And this amazing structure is the shape of an eye, which is supposed to be overlooking the wonderful city of Dubai. So that was the end of the Museum of the Future tour. I had a great time. How about you, Miss Tammy? I had a great time. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun, right? Yeah, so if you are a lover of science and innovations and possibilities of the future and healing, I would say definitely visit the Museum of the Future here in Dubai. It was awesome. <laughs>